Today is May 16th, 2013. You are watching Speedrun. David Jaffe, creator of the God of War and Twisted Metal franchises, will join indie developer Pixel Bionic as creative advisor on its latest Kickstarter-funded PC title, vehicular combat game Auto Duel. Auto Duel is an online multiplayer title set in a post-apocalyptic future where players duke it out in souped-up vehicles. Players will customize cars with upgrades, weapons, and armor. Pixel Bionic promises RPG-influenced persistence and progression in the title and states it has no relation to the 1985 Origin Systems game of the same name. They say the Kickstarter will launch shortly. Another Nintendo Direct is set to drop tomorrow, this time focusing on Wii U and Nintendo 3DS games coming this summer. The company will also host another video presentation close to E3 next month, this time focusing on games for autumn and beyond. Remember, last month the company said it would forgo its annual press conference in favor of smaller, more focused events. Sony released a teaser trailer for Panopticon, an unannounced title with no platform or release date yet. The trailer is linked to a countdown page that appeared earlier this week, featuring a clock ticking up to one million years. The trailer shows a futuristic totalitarian world where it looks like citizens use ID numbers. Keep in mind, the Panopticon is a conceptual prison designed by English philosopher Jeremy Bentham, which allows one guard to observe many inmates at once without them knowing they are being watched. The game is coming from PlayStation Japan and features dark, gritty colors and an anime art style. Maybe we'll see more at E3? Electronic Arts is moving into the MOBA sector according to a website listing an unannounced title, Dawngate. The MOBA, that's massive online battle arena to the unfamiliar, is slated to be the first release from developer Waypoint Games, a studio made up of quote-unquote sincere students of games. The page says, Dawngate empowers you to forge the champions you love for the roles you want in a competitive arena shaped by ever-evolving community-driven content and story. Look at all these leaks! It's about that time of year, isn't it? Yesterday, former THQ president Jason Rubin posted an article to Games Industry International, calling Metro Last Light developers for a games the underdog of studios. Rubin said the studio endured cold weather hardships and poor cramped working conditions and deserves to be recognized for its triumphs. For a games creative director, Andrew Prokhorov responded today saying his team was driven by talent and relentlessness rather than its resources. He said, Our working conditions are not five stars for sure, but you kind of get used to it. It's kind of like a big garage band. We do what we can having what we've got. We have a fun and friendly atmosphere. It's not a drama. We have discussed Jason's article here and he has the support of 100% of our team. We've reached out to publisher Deep Silver and Foray to clarify Rubin and Prokhorov's statements. We'll keep you updated. We're done. Happy Thirsty Thursday, Polynauts.